What's up guys, got another update video for you. As always, it is 11.56 p.m., very, very late at night, but we grinded it out, we got the update out, so let's jump into it. Uh, so just a few bug fixes. Uh, Dragon Whip will no longer turn into a normal whip when you disassemble it, or when you, when you try to withdraw it noted was when that happened. Uh, you can no longer enter combat with the Skeleton Priest, that is the Skeleton Priest pet. Uh, sometimes it, it would attack you or you could attack it on accident. I think if you barrage somebody and it was next to it, it, it basically uh, was attackable and that should hopefully no longer happen. Uh, the King Lava Dragon uh, no longer drops herbs. I don't know why I, I'm, I'm doing it. Don't question it. No longer drops herbs. Uh, they were glitched and for some reason they wouldn't drop noted, even though they were noted. I don't understand the issue, but just decided to remove them. Uh, removing them made everything else more common, so everything is slightly better from there. You know, it's a it's a slow spawning boss, so it's not like it really hurts anything with that uh, being improved. So let's get with the balancing changes. There's actually been a ton of balancing changes this update. It was mostly balancing changes. Uh, we'll get into the first one, which is going to be a big one, um, probably a controversial one too. Um, you know, it's one of those things where. A lot of feedback and a lot of discussion went into it, and ultimately we decided to make changes. So a lot of the junk was removed. A new higher tier box was added called the Raider Box. I'll open up a ton of those in a sec. Uh, you can already kind of tell what items might be in that box. Um, streamlined it. A lot of the stuff that no one would ever buy or would very unlikely buy um, has been removed. So now hopefully everything in here is something that someone would actually want to purchase at some point. Um, stuff like this where it's cosmetic is kind of iffy but i already know for a fact that some people have purchased this so i don't know i i, I just i think we'll probably avoid m cosmetic stuff uh in the future we'll probably just add this to clues or something and i don't know we'll see you, you, by all means if you have any feedback i would love to hear it on any anything you know anything and everything so box of untradeable has uh replaced the um the combat starter sets now it's just exactly what you'd expect it to be a box of untradeables the uh, legendary companion egg uh, if you notice all of the legendary companions are gone they are now in eggs i will open up some of those in a sec uh clue box i'll open up one, it, it, I'll open one of them in a sec you'll see why i'm opening, opening one uh and then everything else is pretty straightforward did decide to add group blue chest ooze um so these two right here are potentially oh, well not potentially but they're they're temporary uh, so normally we, we usually do temporary stuff on the the web store if you're if you're a donator you, you're probably familiar with it but um, that's usually where we would do like bundles and deals and stuff like that but uh, a lot of the deals came with bonds uh, so if you redeemed the bond yourself you wouldn't really have a lot to do uh, there, there wasn't a lot to purchase in the shop uh, so even though these are temporary, they are going to be in the in-game shop. That way you can use your points. I know some people have got like 100 points saved up just waiting for something good to come into the store. Hopefully now you've got something good to buy. So these are not always going to be available 100% of the time, but they will be available for the next couple of weeks. Um, at least until we you know figure out what we want to do, figure out feedback. Uh, so do the legendary pen eggs first just to give you an example of what they look like it's pretty much exactly what you're expecting uh the prince lava dragon pet is on there and there is a new pet which we did not get the uh I'll just search them up. that was a bad idea to try to search barrel fuck <laughs> uh there he is barrel chest so yeah there's a new pest that is currently only available via the companion leg or egg egg not leg companion egg um, but it will be uh, obtainable from a boss uh, barrel chest as you can imagine uh, currently what it does is it has a chance oh, fucking 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 everybody I hope you don't get the pet I hope no one gets this pet because <laughs> why it didn't do that ah, fuck fuck you 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 it never once did that on the test server so why is it doing it here now I know, because I didn't remove barrel chest. That's why. <sighs> okay, well, anyways, let's get back to the, 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 the video. Let's open up the Raider Boxes. So every single Raider Box will give you a 100 mil cash, a Dark Relic, an Ancient Effigy, 
2,500 adventure points and 100,000 uber and 100,000 rare components. So you get a lot of just uh, base stuff, and then of course you get one good item, and unfortunately that time was a beast uh, B. So yeah, you can see there's some very good stuff in there. We did end up getting one raid item with the dragon and a crossbow. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, they're, they're, I'll, I'll do a full video opening them and then we can, you know, see all the rates and shit like that. Uh, let me actually just open up more to give you, do, 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 you 10 more just so you have like a, a good view right now, realistically what the, uh, what the shit is. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, not trying to keep anybody in the, oh, Twister Book. <laughs> I, I, I legit thought that said bow for a second there. I'm not trying to keep anybody on the dark and what their rates are. Um, they, like I said, there'll be videos coming very soon. Uh, there was also some, some minor rebalancing to the Uber boxes and Elite Mystery boxes. I'll just do 10 and 10, and I, I don't know if that you would learn anything. Lightsaber's there. I don't know that. It, I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before. Uh, some other stuff was was removed or added. I'll talk about that in a sec. Let me just make sure I'm not throwing a bunch of crap on the floor. Yeah, we'll do proper videos in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, if you're if you're a fan of opening videos, then you've got some you got some content to to watch soon. Anyways, let's go with this clue box right here. Clue box gives you boom a nice. I believe it gives you six six quote unquote master clues if you were to make master clues, or you can just do them yourself like this, however you want. Let's uh, let's get back to the actual updates though. Uh, like I said, massive donated store changes. The Christmas cracker has been removed. It is also removed from all boxes, so there is no way to get a Christmas cracker or party hats now. Uh, so they're essentially discontinued. Uh, it's possible we'll uh, drop a couple more. My plan was to always drop a full party hat set, um, and I have not gotten around to that. I believe I've only given away two, so I will give away at least four more. But then from that point on, it'll probably be never be any party hats again maybe rare like on the one year anniversary you, you have a one in a hundred thousand chance from something uh but they're essentially discontinued so party hats will, will definitely uh i imagine go up in value i definitely don't have a stockpile of them you know. i actually don't I, I was i was always meaning to get one because i knew this update was coming around the corner but i just forgot or never got around to it uh, Elite Mystery Box, Super Box, slightly adjusted, as I mentioned. The Divine Spirit Shield effect has been buffed, and the Elijah Spirit Shield effect has been nerfed. So, there was not enough of a distinction between the two, and in my opinion, it actually seemed like Elijah was better. So, Elijah, uh, let me, I shouldn't have closed the file, so I could give you the exact numbers. The Elijah, I believe, negates 20% damage now. Um, the Divine negates. 40% or is it 35% or 40%? I can't remember. It might be 35% because that sounds like a more realistic number. It's one of those numbers. <laughs> um, but the caveat is the divine also drains your prayer a little bit. So if you want more defense regeneration, then you, you rock the divine. If you don't want the defense, or, or you're like, you don't want to lose prayer points, but you still want some defense, go Elijah. I was trying to like make it so that there is a more of a distinction between the two of them. And, and I was also trying to make it so the divine is better because like I said, in my opinion, I think Elijah was better uh previously but now hopefully divine would be better but it you know it just kind of depends on your circumstances the ghost hunter battle axe has had its effect nerf you uh, it doesn't hit as high as it used to but it now gains a special attack so that's fun Sliske's spear has been buffed lightsabers have had their effect buffed cerberus is now considered a demon black chin champas when uh, when you hunt them in the wilderness they actually give more experience now uh, before i think it was the same as red chin champas so that was kind of disappointing, but hopefully that'll be better. Lava dragons are more likely to drop elite clues, and mini bears are more likely to drop easy clues. And then the odds of receiving dex and arcane prayer scrolls has been lowered. And because it's been lowered, it makes everything else on the table slightly more common. So technically, Tebow is slightly more common this update, uh, excluding the <laughs> raid box shit. So. Uh, Revival's first kaiju has been added. I'm not going to stay here too long, but uh, let's go to god mode. I didn't make this place multi. I didn't make this place multi. This place not multi. Well, in the next... <laughs> this will be multi <laughs> soon. And you'll be able to multi-kill this thing together. How is that not... How is this place not multi? This is like... I tell you, this this last couple... Uh, this last two weeks has been rough. It has not been a, a very good update cycle for me. But I am happy with the amount of content we got out, even if there is some stuff that needs cleaned up. But yeah, like, it was rough. It, it's been a rough weeks. 
Um, need to make this bitch moldy so we can kill it. But uh, yeah, revivals first, Kaiju, Jurassic King. And if you're wondering why, well, you're asking the wrong question. So we made two new rooms multi. This is uh, hopefully to make it so that group Ironmen can do more things together. So the big western room in the Demonic Gorilla area is now multi. So uh, yeah, you can kill these together as a team. I'm pretty sure you bring cannon here. I don't really care. So if you want to kill them solo, you're a solo guy. Come up over here north and you should have tons of them. And then Cerberus, the northern room, only the northern room is multi. The the western and eastern rooms are both still single way combat. But if you want to kill Cerberus in teams, the northern room is multi. You can now get undead necromancers as a slayer task. And then Omelet has been redone as a drop from Chamber of Xerix. So previously it was an actual drop on the actual table. So like the same table where you could get Twisted Bow... Uh, or the scrolls and stuff, that was where you would get omelet, and it would replace your drop. You essentially would not get a drop. That would be considered your drop. Um, so it's been changed now so that you have a chance of getting it as a drop whenever you get another drop. <laughs> I know that's a bit confusing, but... So think of it this way. Let's say you get a dex prayer scroll. When you get a dex prayer scroll, it rolls a chance for the omelet pet. So if you, you so you could potentially get the deck scroll and the omelet pet. That's essentially how it works on old school. You get them both together, uh, and I like that idea. So we just kind of adopted that here. Uh, also, on that same note, you can now get Dark Ancestral Upgrade Book as a potential reward from Chambers of Jerry. So this is also on that same table. You have a chance of getting this book when you get another loot. So it is an addition loot, uh, an additional loot, not not a. A loot that takes replace of them and if you get any duplicates because it is only one in 50 chance you get any duplicates you can turn them into old act for 50 mil cash so it actually theoretically could become a nice way to make cash if you get multiple books but um what it does uh well actually we'll get that uh the um the main reason we added it is i really wanted to keep chamber of xerix uh valuable obviously if you can just get things from raider box it's going to devalue the the raid stuff, and I wanted to give their uh, give people a incentive to always do raids. So, uh, the Dark Ancestral Upgrade Book. If we empty the stuff, uh, twenty ninety one. Uh, you can do four little shenanigans. So you can upgrade your ancestral hat, robe top, robe bottom, and the twisted bow. So there is a new and improved twisted bow that has better stats. Let's take a look at them together. And then there's also an upgraded Ancestral, if that wasn't obvious from the other stuff. So this is the Twisted Bow upgraded version. It has 75 range bonus and plus 25 range strength. Also plus 10 defense, you'll, you'll yeah, like, it, yeah, I'll explain it in a sec. But uh, the default one, 70, no defense, not that that really matters too much. And then the pull, uh, less on the range bonus. So um, that's all fine and dandy, but what it also has is if we spawn... It has a spec, and it is very strong despite my minimal gear. If you saw, the minimum is actually 16-16, so this is guaranteed to hit a 32 on somebody. Could have really weird potential PK power, I don't know. PKing is kind of weird on here because, like, there's not a whole lot of it, but certainly, uh, <laughs> certainly a thing that you, you gotta watch out for sometimes. Uh, so yeah, like you're gonna make the twisted buckler. That was why we decided to give a defense bonus. That was actually John's idea, since you you use the twisted buckler as part of the, the recipe. Uh, and then the other ones, it's just a dark relic, which is obtainable from uh, the raids, and then it's also in the raider box. But that's not really relevant. Uh, just one per, and then you know obviously some component value. So not too crazy or anything, but yeah, twisted bow upgrades in the game. I'll uh, let me show you what the, uh, the the ancestral looks like. And let's make this last piece. No, in my luck, I'm not going to have any components. Yeah, I did have the components. So, yeah, it looks cool. looks cohesive together. Um, there was some talk about making it just cosmetic. But I always felt like it looked too cool to just be cosmetic. Like, why, why, why? Why have it just be cosmetic when we can make it slightly better? And then have it, you know, fancier. Uh, there is another version of the Ancestral, the Twisted version, which, uh, again, I don't know that I want to make it in uh, cosmetic. Especially if we've made this one not cosmetic, because then it'll be confusing. Um, so I don't know what. I'll, maybe I'll try to come up with some interesting perk for it. Maybe it has a set effect where uh, I, I don't know. There's there's definitely ideas, but anyways, that is going to end the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon with uh, other videos. I guess I don't know.